Wild things grow, beneath the skin, the soil burns. One can muster all the will and still be beaten brown and crumbly, withered, dead, and drowned. The potent smell of bad perfume. Even from the ashes and mud of things of murk, slime, and shame can blossom bright, new magic an other day. Wild and uncontrollable, the way you turn me on, the way you dance among the flames of perdition, turn me in, into the desolate parts of you, and there we'll scream like psychotic children, playing in the ashes of a burnt-up fantasy. In the desolatory sun I beat my wings, but couldn't fly. I had no hands to reach out, no frosting for my cake, no temple to pray inside of. The world was not my oyster. I wanted for anything to touch you once more beneath a fading moon. For one hour could I comprehend your mind, one evening to dine with you, before the ashes fall, before the smoke rise, before the end. We washed off all the dirt of our youth, respectively, dancing in the crisp green grasses, one step across the line I go, where you can't follow me, and I run. In the morning breeze you caught me unprepared for this long trek, trotting on and on and on and on and on and on and on, through the sludge and principles, through an hour past nine, and I go, where you can't follow me, and I run. Touch me, take me in your arms, tell me everything you could command, how the world is at your whim, and I too, and I will dance for you, and I will sing, the wind will bend me closer to you. Life in a Chair Life in a chair, winding down, pucking up, letting wi the wind loose. Do you mind if I have another bite, another taste, to let the flavor sink, 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 sink? Drown it out with caramel coating, laugh it in, wild about it, nothing deep in the woods tonight. No deep matter and no boards, just the air smelling of burnt-up drugs and popsicle sticks. We dig and we plow and we till, water the vine so it can grow tall, so we can reach the stars perhaps, the moon, seize the sun. Through force of will we climb and hunt tomorrow's fate. We are hunters, but still we gather, raking in the pieces of our broken past. Let's dissolve our flames in the deathbed of our ancestors, exchanging crowns dug up from a wounded earthen grave. White hands, milk-white hands, white hands, pressed against the inside wall of your mother's uterus, imprint, impermanent and strange, reaching for her father's distant physique. While we're waiting, the curtains fall, catching fire, flames blowing, howling, and the intermission ends. Molested youth battered with advertisements, price tags, political propaganda paraphernalia, clink, clink, Three lives for fifty cents, but where is the fresh-cut watermelon, the candles on my birthday cake, leaves of grass tickling bare feet? We've exchanged a world for a world. Let's do this thing. I took a photograph of you in the house upon the hill. I still have the negative, and once in a while I develop new prints. Each copy bright, crisp, and clear, saturated with the colors of imagination, 
painted pixels, bleeding ink runs through my veins. For all my tears and my trouble, painstaking labor and fierce desire, I cannot reproduce the one I want. I wouldn't have opened my life to you if I had thought you would not let go of these fading fel felicitous fragments of a soul, snapshots, layered pieces burying the truth. Where is the severed head? Where has the hide been hid? And the meat, all rot, disease, and decay, only these picture-perfect bones remains. Swallowed up inside me like a bumblebee with wings plucked off, Dressed up in pretty little words, and packaged up in prison bars, manacles, and dropped, face down in a never-ending series of twists, turns, and forgotten passages. What we see, what we see, is the undying faces of those we've lost. What we see, what we see, a reconstruction, placed under glass and perfect. But what is perfect is... It isn't real. It doesn't grow. It doesn't break and bend. It has no new voice to break the silence. It offers nothing other than a hollow echo to transfix the mind, to hold captive my heart. Somewhere between dreams new and old, between breaths in the cold autumn night, inhale, exhale, Inhale. Dust dissolves into stark contrast and sharp fine lines. The real world reaches out and grabs. Exhale. It's time to show my face to you. So I put one on, name it for you, to hide what's under the skin, the bones and superfluidity of blood, scars, despair. A drowning flame. If I removed these bandages, looked you in the eyes, and told you all the things which bubbled up underneath, nothing would change except our reflections of the past. All simplicities would flake away. So I'll restrict myself from tears, and I will shine, be strong, and carry myself with a push, and break away. Intoxed, while breath and heartbeat fuzz our casual comprehension of one another, distort our senses, and I crave another taste of our narcotic feel-good frenzy. Melt down the plastic walls, hide the bodies inside, let the world burn, capture the flag, capture the high, life in a bottle, seal, stamp, store. Were we mad? Was the feeding frenzy all a facade? Is anything real in this place? Why don't we throw a bomb in it? Uncork the monster we really are. Unleash. Our machines and our lives, momentum burning from the inside, hail, ice, wind, and we ride. Morning calls from half-past midnight, and in my bed I'm writing not-so-lullaby, fucked-up, incomprehensible garbage, not out loud, not written down, but a cross-sectional synaptic swirl of sound that only I can hear. Buzzing, crackling, white waves washed slowly out across a smooth, sandy beach. I know it's beautiful, and I would show you, but there's no scuba diving gear to bring you where I am. Trout fishing for poetry. It's the best I can offer you. <laughs>